Yo, fairy tale has just done something that it never does, and that is death. So this episode was just showing the true terror of these dragons, and it's just showing, yo, you don't even fuck with the little dragon. They show killing off some of the prime members of fairy tale. This is a very dark gray day for people, indeed, for fairy tale. Mostly, the so shocking part about this episode was actually that most of this episode was pretty much filler. Yeah, the start of the episode was canon. A little bit midway had a little bit of canon to it as well. And the ending as well is definitely fucking canon. But for the most part of this one, it was definitely a lot of canon uh, incorporated into this episode. Definitely, you see, like, Miliana was about to start meeting Jalal and, like, Urza, and she's saying, like, oh, I forget, you know, Jalal for all the things that he's done. And it's like, oh, how could you? Oh, man, this is one that killed Simon like that. And Altair comes out of nowhere, coming out with the truth and saying, you know, she's the one that controlled Jalal, making say, like, she was the one who was, you know, Zareth and giving him the orders and telling him to do all this for all those years. And she was thinking, like, when she was walking off, I said, you got anything against me, kitty cat, survive this war, and then you can take it all out on me. Pretty much taking all the blame on her. And it was shocking because she was saying that, I really am up to, like, you know, the hero role. I'm guess I'm just deep down rotten in the end. And it's like, Ultir has been really struggling as well since she was also as well she's dealing you know with like that past you know the whole stuff in her past as well like she never really was raised to think about right and wrong she always saw the thing that she did was right whatever action it was taking and she was thinking like I was now about to kill you know Rogue and it's like she was really heavily thinking about this and it was like I guess in the end I'm just I can't be good I'm not like them I'm just evil I'm just heartless and it was like a lot throughout this episode, I loved a lot of it. See, this is what filler fights should be in fairy tale. You see them fighting, like, you know, little mini dragons. You see, like, freaking Cobra going in, fucking up the dragons. Even as well, you see with Lox just deathly shine. This is what we wanted to see more in the manga. We wanted to see more of these guys fighting. We wanted to see how much more of a serious threat these dragons are. And I'm loving that the anime is doing this right now. Definitely as well, some of the televised it was fleshing out some of the other characters, what they were doing, because definitely as well in the manga, we had no idea what some of these other characters were doing. We get to see, you know, Marco with his father and all that, like, going there, find off some little the mini dragons as well. Like, you got to see as well, Cobra fucking up one of the dragons, like, he was trying to give it a heart. Like, he did probably one of the most strongest techniques. He's probably, like, there near, like, Dragon Force mode, and it still isn't doing anything to him. Also as well, seeing, you know... Sting and Rogue also as well teaming up going against two dragons at once. There was like scissor cutter like up there and it was like it definitely he felt like if he has still Sting around him then he won't fall into this darkness. And that is probably what happened. Like who knows like you anime only views and they just what do you think really did cause like future Rogue to like pretty much snap and cause him into the man he is because he's, he said he actually was the one that killed Sting and all that. But let's just hope that's not what like the dragon situation with others is like please just fucking kill me please. Hopefully it's not like that with Sting though. But definitely like what I liked about this episode is like we even saw flair in this episode. Like say the Lucy, which was a very straight little thing that I was also hinting as well, like a little bit of the change in flair as well. Like she, she would never would have done that at the start when she was definitely there in Raven Tail. So it's kinda of interesting that she just came out of nowhere, tried to help Lucy and show, you know, she has some important information that needs to be passed on from what is in that diary of the future Lucy's in there. But definitely that ending. Oh my god, the tragedy that was. Grey and Juvia and Leon, Melody all meeting up. And they were there trying to face off the dragons. And they get distracted for one second. It looks like Grey was going to say something really important to Juvia. And she was trying to be all jokey, saying, oh, maybe it's a confession. Grey gets shot in the chest. And then he just gets shot in the head like that. Instant death. Right in front of Juvia's eyes. And it's like, she's just there with her hands over, just screaming. Like, ah! Like that. It's like, what a way to end the episode. That is a fucking climax in the heart. Just to see, we've lost a lot of men. We don't still don't know some of the characters, but we know that you know we see you know what happened to Marco. Get see you know also as well Romeo and the old guy. You also see that what happened as well to Jet and Roy. There was about six deaths in this episode. I, it's crazy, you know. Fairy tale having deaths and all that, and it's a crazy thing to even think about, but what do you think about the uh, this episode? It was absolutely crazy. Definitely as well, I did like the fleshing out of the filler, but this was just amazing. I love this episode. A really good one. Like, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, but that's all for me. I'm going to give this one 
for what it was, for what this episode was, even though it was incorporated filler like that, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 to a 9 because it was that good, the content that we had this week. But that's all of me. I always thank you very much for watching. As always, remember, I'll see you guys next time.